For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so in order to determine this, the first thing is we have to make sure that this equation is solved for y. All right, that is my first step out of the three steps that I've listed down here at the bottom left. So fortunately, it is already solved for y for us. So that makes our life nice and easy, right? So the formula is y is equal to square root of one minus x squared. Now this is the thing you're gonna to wanna to graph, okay? So you can think about the graph, meaning start plugging in some values for x, you realize that there are certain limitations, right? X cannot be greater than one, because you know if x here were two, let's say you plugged in two, so the square root, uh, uh, excuse me, so it'd be one minus two squared, which is then one minus four, right? which is then square root of negative three, and what is that exactly? we'd have to be using imaginary numbers, all right? So we can't really graph it per se using the regular uh, coordinate system. And it also couldn't be then uh, less than negative one because anytime you square a negative, it's positive, right? So this would just be like adding another negative in here to two, and obviously that comes out to be four and we get the same value, all right? So that being the case, if, if you didn't have the calculator, you can try to reason that out. Uh, but if you do have the calculator, by all means, just, just use that. All right, don't think though, you know, think about it a little bit. Don't just use the calculator blindly. Okay, so the, the graph should look something like this. Okay, now um, when we, so you might say, oh, it's half of a circle. Yeah, it's a semicircle. All right, that's what the graph is, is telling us. So now what we have to do is take this graph that we just uh, drew and see if it passes the vertical line test, right? The vertical line test says that if a vertical line does not intersect the graph more than once, meaning if it intersects it only once or less, the graph is indeed a function. So if I draw a vertical line here, it only intersects it once. If I draw it here, once. If I draw it here, only once, etc. So being that that vertical line only intersects the graph once, I can then declare that it is indeed a function. All right, so it's as simple as that. So this thing is a function. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends. We'd appreciate it so much. Have a great one.